Welcome, my name is Eric Hederson, and today I would like to talk about melody, but more importantly, how you interpret uh, a phrase. And there's a shortcut for really getting to a place that is very expressive, very musical sounding, and uh, very pleasant to listen to and engaging. I discovered a while back the correlation between interpretation, articulation of the notes or melody or phrasing, uh, and the prosody or the melodic uh, way that we speak that we use language. Um, Segovia, oh, I was very fortunate to spend a uh, better part of two years with, uh, very young when I was with him, had uh, a command of at least seven, maybe eight languages, different languages. Uh, that gave him, I think, I believe, a, an advantage to how he heard the music because this is a language. Let's remember this is a language and we're communicating something, a story. And the story can either be communicated in an interesting manner with a good, exciting interpretation or it can be boring and monotone. I'm going to give you an example. When we speak, we don't speak like this. It's, there's melody. Just even in one word, melody, you hear that. And it's called prosody. Uh, something happens if we just begin to listen and become aware even of how we ourselves speak uh, and hear the prosody, the melody, the melodic uh, content to how we speak and uh, as well as others. When that happens, when you, you become aware of the melodic uh, properties of the words that we use and how we articulate them, that translates beautifully to how you listen as you play a piece of music. So the more I'm aware of nuance and, and wonderful, uh, uh, and excuse me if you're listening to my dog breathe in the corner, but. Uh, the more I'm aware of little details and, and the melodic uh, way that others speak as well as uh, what I say, the better I'm equipped to hear and to communicate a story or an interpretation, a very subtle and nuanced interpretation. I'll give you a little example. I can play this. Or I can do as if, hear that? As if I'm speaking the note. concentrating on listening, listening and playing with intention. This is very powerful and you can, I, one could almost say that you could 
uh, in a sense, fast track uh, your understanding of style, structure, form, all that, uh, and, and go right to interpretation if you just start using this uh, as your template, your, 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 your blueprint for how to express a piece uh, and, and make it interesting and engaging. Remember, it's a language. And, and, and um, this was very, very, uh, this, this was transformative when I discovered this. And I saw, you know, in retrospect, the correlation between, let's use another example, uh, Julian Bream. Very, very articulate man. Beautiful vocabulary. Uh, and he played and performed and, 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 and interpreted music as a language. It was articulate, engaging, nuanced. So I am a, have a strong opinion, uh, almost a conviction, uh, at risk of being too certain, uh, that there is a direct relationship or correlation between your ability to hear and listen to, and then uh, by, by that we are able to purposefully execute a piece of music with beautiful detail and new, nuance. Uh, that's my little uh, opinion for what it's worth. I hope it helps you. I'm going to close this with a piece that I wrote called Muse. Mm -hmm.